Hi, my name is Jona and I'm in the group which will present you Slovenia. My associates are Hanna, Andrea, Marusha, Max and Rok. Uh, first, I'm, firstly I'm going to present you some quick facts about our country. As you probably know, the capital is Ljubljana and the language we speak is Slovenian. Um, here are some basic frequently used Slovenian words, for example, um, if you want to say hello, you say pozdravljeni, and thanks is hvala. Then if you want to tell someone your name, you say ime mije, and then you add your name. Um, and bye is adio, and prosim means please. Um, as a member of uh, European Union, our country uses euro as a currency, and we have been independent since the 25th of June 1991. Um, our neighbor countries are Austria in the north, and then in the south there is Croatia, and Hungary in the east, and then Italy on the other side. Um, according to data from April 2014, Slovenia has about um, 2 million of population, and it covers the area of approximately 20,000 square kilometers. And that's it about some quick facts. So I'm going to present some of the most popular uh, tourist destinations in Slovenia. So let me start with Ljubljana Castle. Uh, Ljubljana Castle is definitely the most popular castle in Slovenia. Um, it is located in Ljubljana, the capital of uh, Slovenia. It was built in 11th century and renovated in 12th century. Um, at first it was used as a defense structure, but later it became uh, the seat of the Lords of Carniola. Um, but nowadays it is used more as a, um, a good or great viewing point of the whole Ljubljana. Uh, the next one is Bedjama Castle. This is a very interesting castle because it is basically carved into the mouth of the cave. So it looks very extraordinary. Um, it is located in the village um, of Predjama, that's 11 kilometers from uh, Postojna town and Postojna cave, which is the world's well-known cave. Um, so. um, the next destination is Blit, which is definitely the most beautiful and popular uh, Slovenian destination, that's because of the beautiful lake and uh, the castle on the hill and there's also a small beautiful church standing on, on, on the small island in the middle of the lake. Um, Piran um, is a very beautiful town, it is it's, it's located on the Slovenian coast near the uh, Italian border it is very beautiful because of the narrow streets and medieval structures and colorful uh, houses. And Iran is also well known because of the composers who live there. Um, the very famous Italian Baroque composer is, is uh, Giuseppe Tartini. And the last one is Triglau. Uh, Triglau is with its uh, 2,864 meters, the highest a point or mountain in Slovenia. Um, it is located in Julian Alps and it's also the highest peak in Julian Alps. Um, it stands basically in the middle of the uh, Trigra National Park, which is our only national park. Um, and uh, Trigra is also the symbol of our nation. So I'm going to tell you something about the traditional Slovenian food. First we have blood pudding, carnelian sausage, prekursky gmente, which is a layer cake, cottage cheese or buckwheat strudels, um, chajana, which is a simple apple dessert, uh, potatoes, coffee, yuta, goulash, maestrom, and blit. So I'm going to tell you something about our holidays. On the 1st of January, we celebrate New Year. On the 8th of February, we celebrate the death of our biggest poet, Jan Cetra Sheeran, and it's a World Free Day. On the 27th of April,
we celebrate the day of uprising against occupation and in that week we also have our first May holidays which lasts one week till the 2nd of the May which is our International Labour Day. On the 25th of June we have our statehood day um, in um, which we can celebrate uh, Slovenian independence of, uh, from Yugoslavia in year 1991 and our summer holidays are from the 25th of June till the 1st of September uh, and on the 1st of September uh, we start our new school semester on the 15th of August we have our um, Assumption Day uh, and it's a work free day on the 31st of um, October we celebrate Reformation Day and we also have our potato holidays that week um, and our All Saints Day, or also known as the Day of the Dead, is held on the 1st of November. On the 25th of December we celebrate Christmas and we have our Christmas and New Year's holidays in that week too. On the 26th of December we celebrate our Independence and Unity Day. So in Slovenia we have a lot of famous people, but the most famous one are Slovenian athletes. So let's start with Muran Dragic, he is one of the best basketball players he plays in NBA, also with his younger brother Zoran Dragic. Um, and Jako Pita, a hockey player, is also a two-time uh, two Stanley Cup winner. Uh, Filip Lisa, a freestyle skier, um, Peter Preutz. Uh, ski jumper currently uh, the top three and Pina Maze, one of the best alpine skier of all time. Political system in Slovenia. Uh, Slovenia is a republic based on the principle of legislative, executive and judicial powers. Um, in our parliament there are 90 members. Uh, our prime minister is Miro Zera and our president is Borok Pahar. As for economy goes, Slovenia is more of a post-industrial than industrial country. In 2013, Slovenia had around 47 GDP with a 12.5% unemployment rate. Its main export countries are Germany, Italy, Austria and Croatia. While Slovenia maintains a high GDP, uh, it, still, it is still in very large steps. There are some well-known brands here in Slovenia, such as Gorenia, which produces household appliances, um, we also have our spot sparkling water called Ravenska and our coffee named Bar Cafe. Tomos produces Slovenia motors and Ram produces skis, boats and other sport equipment. Lastly, there is a pharmaceutical company and exporter, Kirka. That's all about Slovenia.